I'm Libby Tate, and today is day seven. We're going to be reflecting on the eternity of God. But before we do, let's prepare our hearts and minds by reading from God's word. As human beings, we understand life and sequence through the idea of time. Things happen one after another, and it helps us keep track of life in a succession of events. We know when on the timeline of our lives we graduated from high school or college, the date of our wedding anniversary, or the birthdays of our loved ones. And we look ahead on the timeline to things that are coming in front of us, When will this pandemic be over? And when will winter finally end and spring arrive? I don't know about you, but I am really ready for all of those things to happen. As human beings, we journey through our lives on the timeline of beginnings and endings. But for God, there's no beginning or ending. He is eternal and time doesn't even exist for him. Amazingly, someday, those of us who have put our faith in Jesus Christ will also join God in that eternity. He shares his eternity with us. And how hopeful to know we are promised that we will enter into an eternity of joy and not suffering, of perfect togetherness with our great eternal God and not in the agony of separation. To think about eternity, it might be helpful to look at a circle. A circle goes around and around without any beginning or end. It just exists in perfect continuity. Our God exists in perfect continuity. He was there at the beginning and he will continue being forevermore. There's no stopping point. As we think about this eternal circle, the qualities of God are the essences going round and round. Love and joy, justice and mercy, beauty and strength. That's what the circle is made of, and that's what he, through Jesus, invites us to be a part of. The concept of God's everlastingness, his eternalness, gives meaning to any Christian understanding of God. Everything we know about God retains its significance in the understanding that God is eternal. He is eternal, and he never changes. God is love, and that love will never end or change. God is faithful, and that faithfulness will never end or change. God is just, and we rest completely assured that his justice will never end or change. We stand strong forever on the rock of our salvation. Not only does God invite us into eternity through Jesus Christ, we can see that when God made us in his image, he also put a little bit of eternity in the hearts of all of us. If we really think about it, all human beings actually long to be immortal. As the Apostle Paul teaches, we inwardly groan to be away from our bodies and at home with the Lord. We long for eternity and have a homesickness for our home in heaven. And when God ordains, those of us who put our faith in Christ will one day be reunited with Christ in the fulfillment of eternity. The eternity of God and the essence of eternity that God put inside of us also asks the question of what we hope our eternity will look like. It's a choice that all of us must make and an answer that all of us must give. Who do we say Jesus is? Will we take Jesus at his word? Will we believe and live in the truth that he is who he says he is? And who does Jesus say he is? Jesus tells us that he is the long-awaited Messiah. At the exact ordained time, the sovereign God put his master plan of salvation into action. At the perfect moment on our human timeline, God sent Jesus, his one and only son, out of the eternity of heaven and into this finite and fallen world. And why did he do that? Because of his great and eternal love for us, he sent Jesus, whose death and resurrection gave us eternal life and conquered eternal death once and for all. Today, I wanna just encourage you to take a minute to pause and recognize the eternalness of God that we can see in creation. 
As the sun goes down and colors blaze through the entire sky, let us ponder and praise Him for His eternal artistry and creativity. As we take a moment to look at the night sky and see stars and galaxies that never seem to end, may we ponder and praise Him for His eternalness and His invitation for us to share in His eternal heaven one day. And as we reflect on our day and perhaps even recognize whispers of eternity and homesickness for heaven within our own hearts, May we treasure the promise that one day we will get to be with God forever and ever. Amen.